Roman glass, like a great deal of ancient glass, after centuries of burial in the ground, began to deteriorate. And in many cases, the deterioration of the surface caused a muddy discoloration, which isn't the least bit attractive. But in other cases, it produced a rainbow-like sheen, which changes color as one turns it in one's hand. This rainbow-like iridescent effect was very attractive to 19th century collectors of ancient glass who very often prized the iridescence on an object almost as much as the object itself. The attention that the iridescent surface attracted caught the attention of glassmakers like Lewis Comfort Tiffany, who decided that since people were attracted to ancient glass with an iridized surface, he would artificially produce iridescence on many of his glasses. And so Tiffany and others like Frederick Carder here in Corning produced glasses with an artificially induced iridized surface. They were immensely popular. At first, the iridescent surfaces mimicked fairly closely iridescent ancient glass. But as time went by, Tiffany and others went for more and more vivid exotic effects until at the end of the day, the iridescent surface of late 19th and early 20th century glass could be extraordinarily brilliant in color and very striking to look at. A vase made of black glass has just been completed and is still attached to its punty or handle. A bit of hot glass is dropped into a bowl that contains stannous chloride crystals. The vase is bathed in the fumes of stannous chloride creating the iridescent effect. Here, the iridescent effect is subtle. With more exposure to more fumes and reheating, the effect can be much more dramatic.